Magandang araw sa inyo lahat. Ati pong tatalakayin ngayon ang Easter Mysteries of the Lord Jesus. Ang Easter po ay bahagi na tinatawag ng Passover of the Lord sa Ebreo Pesach. Sa Espanyol, Pasqua. The Passover of the Lord is His passing over from death to life. Sa Old Testament, ang Pesa ay ang paglalakbay ng Israel mula sa pagkaaliptin sa Ehipto patungo sa lupang ipinangako sa kanila ng Panginoon. A land of freedom, a land flowing with milk and honey. So, ang Passover ay bale, passing over from the state of slavery, oppression, to the freedom of the children of God. Noong ating Panginoon ay nagkaroon ng transfiguration, sinabi sa kanya, sa kanya ng ina Moises at Elijah, Elijah na pupunta siya sa Jerusalem doon ay magkaroon ng second exodus. At ang exodus ng ating Panginoon ay kanyang paglalakmay mula sa kamatayan patungo sa buhay na walang hanggan sa kanyang resurrection. Ang ating pong sinecelebrate sa Easter ay walang iba kundi ang pagkabuhay muli ng ating Panginoon. At ang pagkabuhay na ito na tinatawag nating anastasis ay hindi isaktong pareho sa pagbibigay niya ng buhay sa mga kaibigan niya doon sa Gospel Stories. Halimbawa, nang binuhay niya muli ang anak ni Jairo, nang binuhay niya muli ang anak na lalaki ng widow of Naim and his friend Lazarus. The raising up to life ay parang pagbabalik sa dati nating buhay to a natural life. At kung natural life, they will continue their human existence until they die eventually. That did not happen to Jesus kasi nung mabuhay siya muli, He did not go back to His earthly life. Nagkakaroon siya ng glorious life in the kingdom of His heavenly Father. Kaya nga nagkakaroon ng transformation sa Kanya. Siya pa rin, si Jesus, the teacher, the rabbi, but in a way, He is already different because He has a glorified body. Kaya nga po, nakikita natin sa resurrection narrative na hindi kaagad siya nakikilala ng kanyang mga sumulunod. What is important is to have, to, for him, to open their eyes so that they will recognize him. Because the resurrection of Jesus is unique in human history. Wala pang nangyari ito sa tao, maliban sa ating Panginoon at sa mahal na Birhing Maria when she was assumed body and soul into heaven. So, the Lord Jesus is now glorious, alive, in heaven, but interceding for us. And He is present in our midst until the end of time. Sa mga evangelyo, nakikita natin ang different kinds of uh, resurrection narrative. And what is basic to this is they did not immediately recognize Him. And then when He showed Himself to them as opening their eyes 
then they finally recognize him and they are very happy. Kaya nga po, hindi nananatili ang ating Panginoon sa kanilang paningin. He will always disappear. At ang misyon na binigay sa kanya, niya sa mga apostoles at sa mga taong kanyang tinawag ay to give witness to the whole world to preach the gospel that indeed He is the Messiah. Siya nga po ang anak ng Diyos na pinatunayan na kanyang muling pagkabuhay and then to spread the gospel to the whole world. May mga resurrection narrative tayo na hindi natin makikalimutan at may malaking leksyon o aral para sa atin. Halimbawa nandyan ang kwento ni Tomas na hindi kaagad naniniwala and then even said, I will not believe in him until I put my fingers in the sign of his wounds. At alam na alam ng Panginoon ito. Kaya sa kanyang pangalawang pagpapakita sa mga disipulo, hinikayat na si Tomas. Touch my hands. But then he said, You believe because you have seen me. Happy are those who have not seen and yet believe. This is a great lesson for us. Kasi nga po, lahat tayo ngayon ay hindi nakakakita sa Panginoon unlike the first disciples. But we hold on to the witness that indeed the Lord is risen, He is with us, and He continues to guide us until the end of the world. Ang isa pang binigyan ng misyon ay walang iba kundi si Maria Magdalena. We read her story in the Gospel of St. John. At first, she thought that the person in front of her was a gardener. And sabi niya, If you have taken away his body, you know, show me and I will take it. Ngunit nakilala niya ang Panginoon na siyang tina- tinawag na sa kanyang pangalan na Maria at ang kanyang sagot ay Raboni, ibig sabihin guro. And Jesus has a mission for her. Go and tell my disciples that I have reason that I will appear to them. Kaya nga po si Maria ay tinatawag na Apostle of the Apostles. Kasi nga po, siya ay pinadala sa mga apostoles upang ibalita na nakita niya ang ating Panginoon at ang Panginoon ay muling nabuhay. I have seen the Lord. Isa pang magandang kwento ukol sa pagpapakita ng Panginoon ay ang tinatawag na Emmaus Walk. The two disciples, very much discouraged, uh, returned to their native place because they thought all their hopes were dashed to pieces. At along the way, they met a stranger. The stranger accosted them and he said, What were you discussing along the way? And he said, Are you the only one who did not know about these things? How uh, Jesus of Nazareth, powerful in words and in deeds, how we were hoping that indeed He would be the Messiah, but then ang kanilang mga pinuno, uh, they delivered Him to the Roman authorities and He was crucified. But hindi na tatapos ang kwento doon because narinig nila sa balita ng mga babae that Jesus' body was no longer in the tomb. And he said, You are very slow to believe. Hindi ba ninyo na tatanto na the Messiah will first have to suffer and then enter into His glory. 
And along the way, he explained to them about him, what is written about him. And when they reach the place, sabi nila, medyo madilim-dilim na, Mane noviscum domine. Stay with us, Lord. And so they stayed and recognized him. And so, brothers and sisters, as we go in our journey to the basket mystery of Jesus, let us not forget na itong journey na ito ay may magandang hahantungan. Not the pain of the cross, not the hopelessness, but in the glory of the resurrection at ang pag-asa na binibigay sa atin ng tagumpay ng Panginoon sa kamatayan. Sabi nga ni St. Paul, our faith rests on this, that Jesus is indeed risen from the dead. At ito po ang ating pagninilay sa Eastern Mysteries of Jesus, lalo na nakasentro doon sa Pesa o Passover. Samahan po ninyo kami muli sa susunod nating pagninilay dito sa iyong gabay sa pagsamba at buhay. Ako po si Father Hill Alinsangan mula sa Society of St. Paul, doing all for the gospel. Pagpalain tayo ng Panginoon.